is slow. And I don't like gathering things slowly. It's gonna gather slowly on its own, but I'll, I'll get the rest later. Where's your house? We're about to go back. I'll show you guys after uh, done gathering this kelp. All right, you can dry kelp. That's exactly what we're gonna be doing. You guys will see in a second. But for now, we're going to cut all this stuff up, gather it with a boat, and then um, we'll be ready to go for the most part. All right, grab all this, some of this stuff. I think we're drowning, we're drowning, but we're, as long as we don't like fully die, we're fine. Yeah, I think that's uh, most of the important stuff. Yeah, there's, there's like a few, but I don't care that much. Um, we got a lot. So here's what we do. Swim under the surface. You can, but like you have to worry about drowning and the camera angle's not good. I just prefer making a boat. I mean, it costs five wood, but like it's convenient. I can't believe we survived that journey. Um, I thought we were gonna die for sure. Now we just kind of swim around and collect the kelp. Uh, well, by swim, I mean boat around. Collecting all this kelp. Uh, this one's in, like, short water, so we're not even going to get it because it's not that much. Because we don't actually have to do this. Like, the farm will work on its own. It just works a lot better if you, you know, help it along the way, kind of. Um, all right. Gathering kelp. Oh my goodness, um, okay, uh, throw that away, okay, we've got, we've got a good amount of kelp, um, let's get some more, you never can have too much kelp, I'll tell you, there's a lot of kelp, I, I noticed I wasn't picking it up anymore, okay, we gotta throw, um, I, look, six pieces of wood, it's not worth anything, right? And our kelp is full again. The three torches? Yeah, we could throw these away, even though they seemed so useful before. Uh, we should be able to get one more stack, and I, I guess we'll just have to leave the rest, because we have... I don't know what else to throw away. Um, the cobblestone we're actually going to need later. The coal, for sure, we don't throw that away. Um, oh, we could throw the bread away. Like, who needs the bread? We have other food. The cobblestone we're actually going to need later. Hold some in the offhand. Good idea. <laughs> Man, we are really stretching this one. Um, all right, we're capped out again. Is there anything else we can put this on? I think we're done. Look, guys, I think we're good. Actually, you know what? We don't need these diamonds, so we'll just get some more kelp. Um, all right, let's get. Uh, let's try and get one more stack because the experience matters more than the diamonds anyway. So, uh, I'm just kidding. Please, please, my diamonds. Deh. Deh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, thank God. We st they're still there. They're still there. All right. I think we're good, guys. I mean, we could get a few more stacks, but w this is enough. I was muted this whole time. How long was I muted for? Um, anyway, what we need is an experience enchantment book, guys. That way we can enchant and we can use low levels for resetting. Um, okay. Put all this stuff in. See, guys, that thing wasn't even cooking because of how scuffed it is. This thing grows so slowly. It's absolutely terrible. What we need is this, though. We need a book, and I don't quite have a book exactly. Um, is the problem. It, okay, we're fine. Got all this stuff. Shaders. Now we can turn the shaders back on. Um, all right. I mean, it looks better. I haven't figured out how to adjust the settings because it does look very yellow. You know, you should use a smoker instead of a furnace. Well, the smoker cooks it faster, but here's the thing. The furnace actually gives more experience. Oh, the offhand kelp, right. Might as well put that away too. Um, all right, there we go. Got most of the stuff. Okay. 
Oh, uh, bias, thanks for the sub. Why is it so yellow? Yeah, I haven't been able to figure out the shader settings. So, oops. Accidentally, um, you know, I think we just get rid of this because it's making it harder to. There we go. We got a good amount of sugar cane. So that's getting farmed up. Um, not looking bad, guys. We got 17 diamonds. We have some iron and gold to cook. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's grab some of the dried kelp. Because I think we're going to need it in a minute. Over here. And one more. Oops. Eh. There we go. Okay. I say we uh, put like half of it in. And then the other half we're going to use it to cook our iron. What does dried kelp do? It's, uh, it's good for using as fuel, I think. Is this vanilla? Uh, no, it's, um, what's it called? It's like slightly modded, but I don't actually know all the mods in it. So, yep. We got the iron, we got diamond, we have this. All we need is a book. Now we definitely have, uh, what's it called? We definitely have everything except for the leather. Cause we have a lot of sugar cane. What we need is leather and I just don't know where to find it. Wait, there's a cow in the Southern area. Um, well, this is cooking anyway. Let's go get the cow. All right, so there's a mod that shows a map. So I can see that there's a cow right here that we could just kill. And um, let's see, it says it's like right around here somewhere. We could just kill this cow and take the leather. According to the map, it's... Uh... Oh, here it is. Maybe, maybe we'll just leave that one alone. Uh... Well, uh, according to the map, there's a there's another there's another uh, there's another cow down down this way, and uh, we kill that one for the leather. Um, <laughs> they use they found a name tag for. I'm not. I'm gonna go get my leather. Um, anyway, I see a red cow on the map down this way. Um, what the? You know, sometimes I just don't. I'm gonna go look for the. Wait, no, don't tell me this is someone else's cow. This is someone's cow. It's inside this little glass thing. Okay, okay. Um, this is clearly someone's cow. Um, so we'll just get another. I see another cow down this way, actually. Maybe. It's right here. Oh, no. It's. Okay, okay. Another, another cow that is owned by a person. Um, <clears throat> we'll find a random cow eventually. I see some sheep. Guys, what else gives you leather? What else gives you leather? There's got to be something I can get leather from. That's not a cow. That's owned by someone. Um, I can't believe I have no leather. Horses. Okay, if we see horses, we can try that too. Do horses actually give you leather? Because I have almost never seen that. But Rabbits can. Llamas can. Look, we're just going to have to kill every single animal we ever have seen. I'm just kidding. Oh, hey, someone logged in near me. Oh, God, I feel like a creeper. Uh, uh, I'll just, uh, I'll just, I'm just gonna go look for, I'm just looking for leather. Um, oh, uh, Tori, thanks for the sub. Okay, dogs, I don't think dogs give leather. Look, guys, I'm pretty gullible, but I don't think dogs give leather. That's, that's where, uh, that's where I won't fall for it. Um... Okay. I can't believe we haven't found any cows yet in this area. There's a chicken. Hmm. What's the shader? I use silders, but I need to adjust it, but I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Also, I'm starving. I gotta go get some... I forgot I threw away my food for kelp, so... I gotta go get some food. Um... Okay. We really want to put our XP away, though, because we have 24 levels. There's a solid shot. We're going to die and lose every single level. So I don't want that to happen. Um, where is it? Wait, I'm going to put the diamonds here. Oh, hopefully I don't get robbed. I, my neighbors seem friendly, and uh, I don't think I'll get robbed, but you never really know. Okay. Um, we got stone. What do we need? 
Need food. Oh, we got 64 fishes. Make an ender chest? I mean, I can, but... Wait, I can? I have the materials for it? Ender chest. I don't have... I don't have blaze powder. I don't have blaze powder, but I would make an ender chest if I had the blaze powder. Um... Oh, no, it's nighttime. Uh... The cows don't spawn at nighttime anyway, so... Let's see. Let's see, what are, are there backpacks in this? I don't know. Uh, it's just called the Minecraft pack is like better Minecraft, but I don't know what's actually in it. So... Guys, where on earth did all the cows go? Um... Hmm. <laughs> nice shirt. Uh, it's just the green shirts. Deh. All right. The aliens took them, maybe. Who's playing with you right now? Right now, I'm just kind of soloing. I'll be honest, guys. I didn't really have too many plans for today. I'm just kind of chilling. Um, so, thanks for chilling, guys. Is this OTV? Uh, no, no. It's, uh... I think Iron Mouse invited me to it. So, it's pretty cool because everyone's, like, kind of just chilling. Like, people aren't grinding like crazy um, for the best armor and all that. Most people are like, look at this. They're building houses and stuff. Is is they're actually building things in Minecraft instead of spam look at that. There's actual houses, guys. Actual houses people are building. When I play Minecraft, everyone just spams protection for diamond elytra armor and then flies around trolling each other for the next three days. But um they're like actually building houses. Kinda crazy. Um Alright. Anyways, uh, we re I really want to find that, uh, that cow, but I don't know, I don't know where to get it from. Would you build a house? What, 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 you guys, what are you talking, I already built a house. Right over here. You guys didn't see my house? Um, it's right over here, guys, my, my house. This, uh, this cave, I have a really open air floor plan. Um, there's my neighbor Bob. He's harmless. I have an open air floor plan. That's why I don't have a door. Uh, there's food that grows here. And then, wait, wait, why isn't this growing? Zero percent? Is there no light? Well, something's clearly bugged out there. But anyway, um, we got this little farm. That's a house. Well, I mean, it's, it's for the most part a house. Um... All right, this furnace is cooking. We just really need that leather. <laughs> All right, guys, we've got we've got about two options here. One option is to um, go ask somebody for leather. That's an idea. The other option is um, go find it ourselves. Go ask someone. I mean, let's see who's on. Uh. I don't want. I don't want to bother anyone, guys. I mean, I, I'm. I, I just. I don't want to bother anyone. Uh, oh God! Look, we can find a pig. I mean, a cow. We'll find. Look, we should at least try and find ourselves. All right, we can't just ask people for things. What if we bother them? Let's at least try to find it, and then if if it's too hard. <gasps> Wait, what on earth is that? You guys see that on the map? What is that? I don't think I've ever seen that creature before. Not the spider, the thing above the spider. Is that a skeleton? Wait, no, no, it's got a different picture than a skeleton. Huh. That's weird. Uh, a mounted spider, you think? Huh. Um, well... Let's just go over here. Alright. Um... It's a weird looking... A skeletal dog? <laughs> what the heck is a skeletal dog? Guys, how do you... Can you tame a skeletal dog? I've never seen that before. It must be part of the mod pack. I think. You can tame it? Oh, hold on. I've got like six bones. We'll get the first skeletal dog or something. I've never seen that in my life before. I, I don't know if you can tame it. We're, we're gonna try though. Wait, what if we die trying to tame it? We really should get that book. 
Ah, there's no way we die. We have no armor. Um, we have iron, right? Okay, let's make a little bit of iron armor. Like, we can't make the whole set, but, um... Alright, we can make, like, the shirt and the pants. That's all we got left. Um, that's not terrible. I mean, it, it'll do something. Alright, so here's what we do. We go look for the skeleton. Wait, did it despawn? Oh, uh, guys, I think it despawned. Wait, I see another one in the southeast. You guys see, I see the skeletal dog icon. Let's go try and get it. I, I feel like it'd be cool to get, but something tells me it's not, um, it's not tameable. But we're gonna try. Southeast, you guys see it? It's below the skeleton. There's actually less mobs there, so it makes it even safer. <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest, though. I, I don't think it's going to let me. I just, I feel like it wouldn't, but we can try. Oh, we will try and tame it. I, I don't think it'll let me, but put him in a boat if you can't. We can, but it'll probably die in the sunlight. We'd have to, we'd have to, like, it'd be too much hassle. If we can't tame it, we can't tame it, you know? But I'm going to try. Skeletal dog. Oh, there it is. This thing looks, oh no, please. Please, the bone. I can't. I can't tame it, guys. I think we have to kill it. I think we have to kill it, guys. It's not It's not working. Unless it's not bones. Um. What, what are you guys looking at? I... <laughs> guys, the skeletal dog is crazy. Uh, I think it left us alone, but I don't think... I don't think we can tame it. Oh, wait, no. If I zap, I might hit these dogs on accident. Let's just leave. I say we just leave. We tried, guys. We tried to tame it. Knives, thanks for the five gifted. Knives, it's a whole bunch of gifted. Thanks a bunch, Knives. It could have been worse. Let's go put the bones away. What we really need to do is find that cow. Um. Wait, I see one. I see a golden cow south. I think it's away from... Oh, no, it's definitely in that guy's farm. Well... And there goes that, guys. Let's, uh, let's go. Oh, man. Look, I'm gonna be honest, guys. I like playing Minecraft. I've been playing it off-stream and stuff. But, like, I don't know that many people on the server, and I always get a little anxious when I, you know, talk to people I don't know that well. So, like, I, I don't want to bother anyone, you know? Um, or, okay, okay, like, if I'm giving away something, it's not that bad. But, like, if I'm asking for help, it feels weird, you know? So, I, just, I don't know. Okay, we don't have that. Let's go and, uh, go and get this cooked up. All right. Oh, bamboo's cooking in. Okay, take all the bamboo out. So, according to my Google reference, one kelp block cooks 20, which is absolutely nuts, I'll tell you. Yeah, it looks like it actually cooks 20. That would be insane. Gengar, thanks for the sub. Zombies, rotten flesh will make leather. There was one mod pack that did that, but I don't know if this mod pack does that. Um, does it? I guess it doesn't hurt to check. Let's go get some zombie rotten flesh, because I don't know what's in this mod pack, but um, some of them, I think let you do that so we can try it doesn't hurt to try it i suppose if we can even find a zombie at this point um do you see any zombies around i don't hmm. let me increase the size of the map yeah i don't see any zombies probably because it's daytime you can just look up the recipes for leather and oh that's a good idea Leather stripe, combined of flesh, rabbit hide, iguana hide, leather stripe. Huh, it doesn't look like you can... So is combined flesh the same as leather? <laughs> I mean, it kind of looks... Uh, it kind of looks the same, sort of. Oh man, I should have been saving all that flesh from the zombies then. Um... I don't think so. I mean, it kind of looks like it. Try the nether. You think I'm going to find leather in the nether? 
It kind of rhymes, but I don't think we'll find it there. Um, it can be cooked in the leather. Maybe we can try it. I just don't know if anyone ha if there is any. Let's just lurk around and steal some. Rotten flesh, rotten flesh, rotten flesh. Nope. Um, look, I, I don't think anyone would mind if I stole rotten flesh, right? Hoglins? Guys, I, I don't want to risk dying, though. I have 24 levels. That's almost enough to get a good, good end chance on a pickaxe. And I, I don't want to lose it. Okay. Um, let's see. They're just fishing. Look at them. Just fishing, guys. We can't ask for help, though. We'll, we'll go find a pig. We'll find a pig, guys. It, it can't be that. We found 17 diamonds. We can't find a single piece of leather. There's no way. Um. All right, where are my cows at? Where are my cows? Do dolphins have let? No, no, they don't. They don't. Um. Okay, okay. Let's let's check the the big map. Um, this looks like a prairie. There's got to be a bunch of cows here, right? According to my uh, my knowledge, my vast Minecraft and knowledge, there must be a bunch of cows at the prairie area. I think. Um, probably. Oh, hey, that's the house of the dude that with the cave that we took the. You know, I'm just gonna, uh, <clears throat> let's go look for those cows. All right. Here we go. Eh. Wait, there's a zombie. I see a zombie underground. I don't know if the combined flesh counts as leather, but I, it might. It actually might. What shader pack you use? I use, um, what's it called? Uh, Sildurs, I think. I, I need to figure out how to adjust the things, though, because the, the torches are a little too yellow for me. And, like, I usually turn off underwater fog and stuff also. But let me show you guys how I get tons of, uh, what's it called? Tons of fish. So I used to, like, make a lot of bread, but it's so easy to kill the fish with his lightning. Watch this. Uh, where's, where's my fish at? See those three fish? Usually you swim around and slice them, right? Bam. Three fish right there. Eh. And if you get them to kind of school up a little bit, you can get even more, even faster than that. So, but this isn't bad either. Like, uh, let's see. Oh, here's a bunch of fish. There were a bunch of fish. We got like three more fish there, maybe. Oh, we got a lot of kelp. I mean, it doesn't hurt to grab a little bit of kelp here and there, you know? Oh my god. Um, all right, we definitely got a lot of kelp, I think. There we go. That dolphin, I believe, is trying to jump on land. Maybe it'll drop leather if it, you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> grinder? I, look, guys, we're, we're underwater gathering some fish. We may as well grab the kelp, right? It's not like it hurts or anything. Okay. Illegal fishing? What do you mean? Look at how OP this is. Bam, bunch of fish right there sinking. I thought dead fish float. Is that weird to say? Maybe a little. Um, look, I, I just heard that from Finding Nemo. Like, if they're upside down floating, then... You know that one part when he pretends to be dead to get flushed down the toilet? Um, is that a spoil... Uh, everyone's seen the movie, right? <laughs> um, anyway, point is, we're gonna go look for that cow, and it's got to be here in this big prairie area. I don't see any cows. I can't believe we can't find any cows or zombies to try out the... Well, there's a there's a underwater zombie. Maybe we'll kill that. I think those still give rotten flesh, I'm fairly certain, but... Okay. Over here, I'm pretty sure there's underwater zombies here. So... Haha, -ha, not offering for any reason. I have an enchanting table in my house. Huh? Um. Anyway, let's go get that. Uh, oh, there's a zombie up here. Under this cave, maybe? Um. Huh. It's not working. Uh. Well, I don't see the zombie. It says it's in here. 
Just trying to get some leather. <laughs> um. All right, let's just kill the underwater zombie guys. There it is. So these still drop rotten flesh. I'm fairly certain. Is those fish were going for it? They're gonna eat. They're gonna eat the zombie. Did you see that, guys? I, I killed that fish, or I killed the zombie. Those fish were going to eat its, it, the rotting zombie body. They were swimming at it. They're crazy. These fish are sick. I'm going to eat them anyway, though, because uh, I'm hungry and I don't like bread. Um, anyway, I see another zombie over there. I think we can go for it. So we'll, we'll just go zombie hunting. I think it'll be good to know anyway, right? If you can turn rotten flesh into, uh, you know, into... Leather, that'd be amazing, wouldn't it? At least I feel like it would be. I mean, it wouldn't be, like, super amazing, but it would give us a good reason to fight zombies and not throw away the rotten flesh again. What the? Hello. Oh, I missed. Okay. Please. Just some flesh. Some rotten flesh. I can't believe I'm looking for rotten flesh and not finding it. I never thought the day would come. Um, what the, what, wait, guys, who's, is this someone's house? Is this someone's house or is this a natural, uh, this has got to be, this has got to be someone's house, right? I'm pretty sure this is someone's house. I just don't know who or why it's here. Oh my God. I don't think it's a natural spawn because of the way the torch... Yeah, okay, so this is definitely someone's house. Look, they haven't finished building it yet. Yeah, right here. Man, whose house is this? Um, they have a farm here. Raspberries. It says oats. Oats and raspberries. Pineapple. Blueberries. Wait, this person knows the mod pack or something. They have things. Um, who's playing? I don't know. A whole chunk of people, but... You know who really likes... Was it Carl that liked cranberry raspberry juice or something? I forgot, but... Oh, this is a fancy looking... Fancy looking house, guys. I, you know, my dirt house is pretty cool, too. Sort of. A lighthouse. Oh. Huh. What the... What's this thing? Um... <laughs> Hmm. Well, we should leave before we get kicked out, but... Wait, what's that? Oh. Um, alright, let's leave. Huh? What is that thing? Huh. Well, no idea what that was, but uh, let's get out of here. Wait, look, there's actually little blue things flying around. This place is haunted. We're getting out of here, boys. What were we looking for? Oh, yeah, leather. Um... Nah. I see another drowned over here, so we'll go here. Hopefully a cow is just spawned by now, but um, if not, then we might just go steal a book that was... Oh! <gasps> there's a... There's a... Here. Eat the kelp. Wait, they don't eat kelp? What do what these things eat again? What do... What do turtles eat? I thought they ate kelp. Huh. Oh, well, that's kind of weird. They eat seagrass. Where do you get the where do you get the seagrass from? What's a seagrass? Um I feel like this is one of those jokes that Mr. Lang does that I'm not ready for. <laughs> um And if it was, I would have for sure fallen for it, but <clears throat> All right. Um Hmm. I don't see any I don't see any cows, guys. It's looking kind of bad, honestly. Um, okay. There's torches here. I can't believe there's no cows at all. It's almost nighttime. What do we do this whole day? Um, let's see. Cows are extinct? They really are. I think... Guys, I, I've got a crazy idea, but it's the only one I can think of. So, there's a cow in that one person's house. And there's a cow in that other person's house. We bring the cows together. And then, you know, multiply the cows. 
and then we just put them back where they belong and we take the the multiplied cow uh, I, I don't know how else we're gonna get a cow guys i'm not gonna lie we have a lot of wheat so we'll be able to do that i'm thinking we just you know temporarily steal two cows and just you know multiply them and then uh and then we keep the multiplication and then we put the cows back and nobody knows what happened uh, I think that's the only way to do it. Also, we got to go home. All right, let's just go home. It seems a little dangerous now. It's dark. Um, you can just ask. We could, but it's funnier if something goes wrong. So we're just going to try and multiply the cows. And hopefully none of them die, because that would be terrible. But hopefully, uh, you know, it's, it's, I don't know. Anyway, the great cow heast. Yep, something like that. All right, let's go. We're gonna multiply the cows. Look, look. There's clearly, cows are basically an endangered species at this point, considering how we haven't found any. So I'm pretty sure we just need them. Or something like that. Um, meh. Okay. Over here. The cow heast? No, not really, not really. All right. Heading this way. Big Mike, thanks for the sub, Big Mike. All right. I'm going to... You know what, guys? We could just... <laughs> we could just go borrow a book. It sounds like someone has extra books anyway. I... I'm pretty sure we're going to get something killed. Like, I already killed someone's birds on accident. So I just feel like it's somehow going to go horribly, horribly wrong. We're going to kill the cow. Um... And it's just all going to go... Oh, the zombies. Let's try the zombies. Okay, I'm going to put this kelp away. Um, hopefully there's fuel. Yeah, tons of fuel. Um, go to the nether. We could, yeah. All right, let's, let's just try and breed them anyway. Look, look. You ever hear that quote? You give a man a fish and he fishes for a day. Or, uh, you know what I mean, right? We could just get a book. Right? We could just get a book. We'll be fine and dandy. But if we get a cow, we'll never have to worry about it again. We'll be self-sufficient. All right. Here's one cow. I can't pick it up. Okay, so in, in this mod pack, you can pick... Here, look at this bird. You can pick it up by holding shift and right-clicking. But the problem is... um, It seems like the cow is too, too heavy, maybe. So I can't pick it up. So I, I don't know how we're gonna. Excuse me. Uh. Did I hit them? I don't even know. Eh. What? Crazed little zombie. Get off of me. Get off of me. Oh no. Oh, no way I died to this random little zombie. Where is it? Where is it? Did it die? I think it died. Um. All right. Man, where is the rotten flesh, guys? I, like, no jokes. Every time I kill a zombie, it drops more rotten flesh than I want. The one time I want, like, a few pieces of rotten flesh to try it out, absolutely zilch of a rotten flesh anywhere. I can't believe this. All right. Let's charge up our sword. Oh, uh, Tony, thanks for the sub. Baby zombies are the worst for sure because they're so hard to hit. Oh, rotten flesh. On flesh, just one. All right, a few more and we're good. Let's go zombie hunting. There's another one over here. I see it on the map. Cows follow you with wheat? Yeah, we'd have to do it in the daytime. All right, come here, bub. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. No rotten flesh. Hey, guys, they like, what, what are they, up the drop rate right when I said I needed it? Or, or lower the drop rate? Like... I swear, usually rotten flesh drops like crazy. It falls all over and you have to throw it away or eat it as a prank and get sick. But like this time, it's just not showing up. Okay. Um, zombie hunt, pretty much. We also need the levels, so it's not all bad. Oh, there's a zombie around here somewhere. According to the map, it's right... Uh, right on me, or right under me. White blocks? These are snow. So apparently there's a seasons map. 
And, um... Oh. Uh, I was just looking for the zombie. I... Oh, God, guys. This is why I can't talk to people. Stop looking at me. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, look, a zombie. A zombie. All right, let's just fight the zombie. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, another rotten flesh. I think we need uh, three more. What the? Well, that's kind of weird. Right, we need three more. We can make the combined flesh. Three more zombies. Well, rotten flesh zombies that drop things. Alright. Um... Oh, uh, princess. Thanks for the five gifted, princess. It's a whole bunch of gifted. Thanks a bunch, princess. Alright, we've got two. It's looking kind of bad. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. We've barely gotten any. Uh, nighttime's running thin. I don't see any more zombies on the map. We gotta get to our, uh... Oh, we're level 25. We're, we're gaining a lot of levels. Once we hit level 30, we put our experience into the book, and then we, um... What's it called? We put our experience in the book, then we use low-level enchants on, like, random Garbaggio until we get Fortune 3 on the pickaxe, and then we're done. Well, we're not done, but then we'll have a Fortune 3 pickaxe, which means we can go on big mining adventures, find tons, tons of diamonds, because basically, normally, you find one diamond, right? And you get one diamond. That's usually what happens. You find a diamond, you get a diamond. That's how it usually works. But here's the thing. If you have a Fortune pickaxe... Huh? What is this? Soul Star? Worthless. I need rotten flesh. Anyway, um, what, what was I talking right, You find a diamond, you get a diamond. But if you have fortune on your pickaxe, you can find a diamond and get three diamonds. It's crazy. Alright. Um, wait, I could have sworn I saw a zombie around here. Oh, wait, uh, in the southeast, I see a bunch. Let's go get those. How much time do we have left in the day? Okay. Um, I see like two zombies in the south. Yeah, yeah, right by those dogs. I say we go for those. We only need three more rotten fleshes, guys. We're almost done. We're self-sufficient, I think. Um, over here. There should be... There it is. <gasps> He's got a lightning rod. Maybe we'll get an extra one. Good try. Yeah, we got the rotten flesh. Did I just get shot? Oh my god, we destroyed that thing. Okay. Get some cooked cod. Uh, looks like there's a ton more zombies back at the main base, so let's go back there now. Is this his job? Um, no, I just didn't have any leather. I couldn't find any cows. And I'm trying to see if zombie meat can turn into leather. Because everyone in chat told me it does. And you know, they might be right. It's true that some mod packs let you do that. I don't know if this is one of those mod packs. But, um, hopefully it is. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, rotten meat. That worked out. We got four. We just need exactly one more. And there's one more zombie right over here. Fantastic. Thanks for the sub. Uh, uh, please. No chance I die to this little, this little chicken nugget. <gasps> the rotten flesh. We got five. All right, guys. And it's just about to be daytime. That's perfect. All right, here's what we do. We're going to try and craft it. And then we'll see if we can make a book out of the uh, cursed uh, cursed leather or whatever. We'll just borrow someone's, like, crafting bench. Because where are the crafting benches? Oh, there it is. Okay. So I think you just arrange it in a little X mark. We have combined flesh. And now we, uh, we just use this and... Yeah. All right. Let's go try and make a book out of... Wait, what if... You know, now that I think about it, making a book out of, like, cursed zombie flesh is probably... Uh, that's like something out of a horror movie, but... Yeah, it's Minecraft. There's no way. It'll probably just be a regular book. Anyway, um... <clears throat> you need three? I think you only need one leather. I I'm looking for a book, not a... What's it called? Looking for a book, not a bookshelf. We got the paper. Three paper. Oh, you cook it. It does work then. All we have to do is cook it. Okay. So the recipe here says you take the combined flesh, you cook it, it turns into leather. 
So they were right. We didn't get you baited by chat. All right, we got some fish, and then you, you just put the flesh in there. What? Hold on, what, what's wrong here? It, it said... Um, smoke? Oh, you need a smoker. Um, smoke? Okay, you need four logs, and... Uh, okay. We could do that. You need four logs, though. Okay, so you need a smoker for it. You can't just use anything. Eh. Alright, you go up here. I don't know if anyone, like, wants these trees, but I'm just gonna... just gonna take one of them. Like, I, I'm just gonna grab this. Oh! <laughs> um... Okay, I think someone already took that tree, if I'm honest. I... <laughs> um... Okay, that was awkward. That was a, a little bit awkward, but... Um... Jabated, yeah. So that was the center of a tree. I think, um, I think someone else already took it, and they left all the branches there, which is quite awkward. And we just kind of fell through the hole, but that's okay. All right, got all this stuff. Not gonna need it. We got four of these. We build a smoker, and we smoke up the thing. Get our one piece. Man, that was a lot of work for one piece of leather. When people straight up just offered to give it to us for free. But you know what, guys? We did it ourselves, and that's what matters. One, two, three, four. There's the smoker. We did it. The smoker. Did you break stuff with a clownfish? Maybe. Okay. Go and take this. And put the smoker in. There we go. Slowly cooking. And we finally got our one a piece of leather. And we'll leave this smoker here too. And then put this back in. Our one piece of leather. And then we craft it into our book. There it is, the book. And then we put uh we, we get our one diamond. One diamond. One uh one, two, three. Right there. Then we get our book, Diamond, Three Lapis Lazuli, XP Book Level 1. Now, how do you use it? There we go. Wait, I just lost a level. Wait. No, no way. No way it takes my XP. There's no way. Wh what? What? I... <laughs> This was the biggest scam of my lifetime. Why does it take a level to use... It's a tax? For why, why would it... Why, why would it... Why would it do that? Uh, alright, alright. We'll make it back with the XP farm. Um, alright, pause it, pause it. Alright. How many levels, guys? We've been letting this run since we started uh, on Minecraft today. So this has been charging for probably an hour to two hours, right? How many levels, guys? How many levels do you think we're getting? Three levels? Four levels? Um, um, we got, uh, yeah, guys, you can, you can stop typing number. We got, we got a, ha a half, we got half a level. Um, that was for about an hour to an hour and a half of charging, probably. Uh, yeah, not very good. Not, not very good. And that's after we hand collected kelp because we were desperate. Um, well, could have been worse. We could have lost like several levels to uh, to a dumb book that we spent all day making, because I didn't think it w I would lose levels on. It. I didn't think I would lose levels on this book. Um, so how's this even work then, guys? You you store thirty levels in it, and then you you take the levels out, you lose your experience. That doesn't make any sense. Don't shift take it. Um. I mean, I just don't get why it takes one level, but the problem is if you store it to level 30, 
Um, then you go to level 29. Um, no, I don't expect it to generate levels. I just don't get why it loses levels. Uh, it's terrible. Um, okay. That was, that was such a scam. I, I actually feel kind of bad. Oh, man, guys. All that effort and for, for what? For a scam of a book that we just lost two levels on. I can't believe... Um... I think the worst thing is it should at least let us go to level 31. Because then we have this XP book, we use our levels, and then we take the levels out, we still can't enchant. Which is like a total scam, but... Okay. Um... No, I don't know. <sighs> Alright. The book stores the levels, but you gain levels faster from level 1. Um, I, I think it stores the XP. I doubt it stores the actual levels. So you can see I was level 23, right? Um, and this maxes out at 30. It only went halfway. That's because the levels cost more, so it stores the XP for sure. See how the book is only halfway full, even though we were level 23? Um, oh man, that was so bad. That was so bad, guys. We wasted so much time and for the scam of an XP book. That, that's... Um, that is the just one of the worst. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't even know what to say, guys. This is just... I just lost a lot of experience. I lost a lot of levels. I gained absolutely nothing. And uh, it was just a huge, huge disappointment. Um, oh, man. Okay. Uh, let's get some bamboo at least. And then... All right. We might still have some good news. Because... Um, so we'll, we'll store the levels anyway in case we die, right? But here's the thing. We're going to make our diamond pickaxe. Um, and if we're ultra, ultra lucky, we're going to be able to immediately enchant it with uh, Fortune 3. All right. <clears throat> Let's go see if we get lucky, guys. Look, we, we wasted two levels. That's pretty bad. Uh, we j we're, I, th I think we're just going to have to kill monsters for it. Which is not the best way to get levels, but it's what we're going to have to do. Um, but the problem is it's going to cost so much to keep resetting it over and over. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. So, let's just let's just go check. I, I think upstairs. Oh my god, what is this thing? Can I take this? Is this how it looked before? I think it looked like that. Or, or maybe... Uh, yeah, it looks like an L now, so it's kind of funny. But it's backward. Anyway, um, the enchanting table. Efficiency. Oh, no. Well, guys. Bad luck. Bad luck. We didn't get, uh, we didn't get fortune. Which means we need to reset levels. The book was virtually a scam, so we're not going to be able to uh, to do that. Um, yeah, this is mildly unfortunate, guys. Mildly unfortunate. I can't believe how much of a scam the book was. I thought it would at least, like, actually just not cost us anything. All right. Well, there's only one thing we really can do, guys. Randomly kill fish for more food. Look at all that fish. So much fish. And it's that easy. Yeah. D colon. Guys, guys, it's a cycle of life. What do you you guys don't eat fish in real life or what? Alright. Some of this, some more fish. Even even more fish. Alright. We got 15 fish, and it only took us like two seconds. Just saying, fishing's pretty uh pretty convenient with the lightning staff. Okay. Um, there's fish. Oh, man, guys. I can't believe how unlucky we got. Okay, so let's put this diamond pickaxe away. Um, put it next to the XP book, which we unfortunately weren't really able to use very well. Um, it's only halfway to level 30, so we're really far away. We need more levels, and our, our kelp XP farm sucks. I, 
It's looking bad, guys. It's looking kind of bad. Um, amazing. Thanks for the sub. Okay. Can you craft another pickaxe? I think so, but as far as I know, the enchants don't change unless, um... What's it called? The enchants don't change until you enchant something. So some people just enchant a book to get it over with. I usually try to uh, enchant like some random piece of equipment. I can't believe how little iron we have left. I thought we, uh... Oh wait, we do have more. Oh, we may as well make armor now. Alright, now that... There we go. Okay. Log out and log in. What's that going to do for me? Um, okay. The grindstone takes away enchantments. It does. Guys, I can't believe how much of a scam this book was. I can't... Okay, the real thing I can't believe is that I tested it twice and lost two entire levels for no reason. Um. Okay. What's this for? What does this make? Ender flute? Entwine rod? Hmm. Okay. Alright. In order to get XP, you need a full double chest. There's no way we're getting that much, guys. Alright, let's get this stuff cooking, though. If we break this, it'll help it, uh... It'll go a little faster. There's more kelp. I can't believe after two hours, it gave us half a level. Oh, man. I mean, we have a lot of fuel, so that's good. We have a lot of kelp left in there. This stuff is... I mean, it's cooking, but it's not making much progress. You still playing with Buddha and Tony? I wanted to, but they're playing a game I don't have installed, and it's on, like, a... A scuffed Ubisoft... Uh, I mean, it's on a... Uh, it's difficult to download on the fly sometimes. Um, uh, in case we... Uh, <clears throat> um, so, you know, we don't want to, like, rush it or anything. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> Chandelier, thanks for the sub. Man, Alyssa. Keck W... Okay, look, guys. This is actually... Fl I think everyone knows it's kind of buggy sometimes, right? Remember when we tried to play Uno with Ranbu and Ray and, like... It just all went ultra papiga scuff mode. Like, I'm just saying. It, there's nothing wrong with saying that it bugs out sometimes. Because it does. You know, think about, uh, what's it called? Skyrim, right? Skyrim bugged out all the time. Everyone still loved the game. So, it's not like you're hard flaming it or something for it having issues. You're just pointing out that it has issues on occasion. So, I don't know. Um, all right. We should go, I guess we can go get some levels, but man, guys, I can't believe how unlucky we got with the, uh, get off of me, you demons. Uh, oh, you really can just do that. All right. Oh, this one's going to be, eh. Oh my God, that person's just getting slaughtered. Uh, no, we got them. Did they even drop any experience? Eh. We got it. We barely gained experience, but it's better than nothing, guys. Demon Slayer arc. What's the best way to get experience? Oh, wait. Um, farming for... What's that stuff called? Um, the, in the nether, you go mining. The, 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 the nether quartz. Isn't that like easy experience? That's like easy, easy experience, I'm pretty sure. Why don't we try that right now? Um, right, nether quartz farming, easy experience. We're not going home until we get a, uh, what's it called? We're not going home until we get that enchanted pickaxe today, guys. Or at least until we get to the part where all we have to do is enchant it. Because right now, like, we are behind. If we can fill up that XP book, that would be, that would be it. Um. Eh. There we go. I didn't dodge it, but we gained one level. And we have a full set of armor now, so we're much, much tougher. Now we could go get some blaze rods. I think that would help. But blazes are really dangerous, and you can't... Oh, wait, this place looks familiar. Anyway, blazes are really dangerous, and it's not quite easy to... Uh... You know what we should do? We'll train at night in the, in the regular world, and then in the daytime we go here. What the? Um, hmm? I don't really 
like how this looks. It seems dangerous. Guys, I don't remember how to get home. Uh, you guys... You guys remember where the spawn is? Because I kind of don't. Is it this way? There's torches here. Oh, God. Maybe it's this way. It's probably this way. Um, I think it's this way, most likely. Maybe. Oh, oh, no, no. I'm feeling... No, it's got to be this way. There's so many torches. Yeah, there it is. I think we train in the overworld in uh, daytime or in nighttime, and then night at uh, daytime we come over here and try and do stuff. I heard Nether Quartz is easy experience though. Is that true? Um, <laughs> Radical, thanks for the sub. Now, there's some creepers. We'll kill anything. We'll kill anything right now, guys. We just need experience. In fact, I'm about to PvP for experience. Uh, I'm just kidding. That was a joke. All right, there we go. Man, this lightning rod is insane. I'm shocked at how it... Ow. I was scratching my eye. It's okay. So I don't think you lose experience putting it in. I think you only lose experience when you take it out of the book. So uh, I think we just max out the book, and then we start rolling for good and chance. You're welcome. <laughs> um, all right, let's go look for stuff to kill. Oh, Gothica, thanks for the 10 gifted... That's a whole bunch of gifted. Thanks a bunch, Gothica. Really appreciate that. All right. But yeah, I think you only lose the XP when you uh, retrieve it from the book. So let's just kill stuff. Why does it say there's so many skeletons around here? Person's house is infested, but... Uh... Oh, man. I, I got to find things to kill that aren't skeletons because they're kind of annoying. Um... All right, Zinni, thanks for the sub, Zinni. Heading here. Um, I've got a second idea, and this is a bad one, guys. <laughs> this is a bad one. Okay, there was an old scam that went around in the old the old Minecraft server, guys. I don't know if uh, I don't know if you guys remember the old scam that went around. Basically, before anybody knew what an XP book was. Um, people would, uh, what's it called? They would walk around and they'd be like, oh, hey, look at this new item I got. Hold it and push right click. And they wouldn't know that you have to shift right click to get your XP back out of it. So the old scam was just, hey, um, take a look at this book I got. Just right click it. Look at how cool it is. It stores your XP. And then obviously they're going to realize their XP got taken and you say, oh, give it back to me. I'll take it out and give it to you. And then you just don't give it back to them. But that was the old scam on the Minecraft server. You just walk around because no one knew what an XP book was because it's brand new technology, right? So you just walk around saying, hey, check out this book. And they right click it and they don't know how to un like shift right click it to take their XP back and they just lose it. Who does that? Uh, Ludwig, but um, that's besides the point. Uh, the point is, well, what was the point? The point is I really need XP right now and I'm, I'm thinking about it. Um, all right, hello. Thank you. Is that another one? No. I knew it was Ludwig. Well, so they don't call him Scamwig for something, but he's a good guy and an extremely funny guy for sure. Maddie, thanks for the sub. Sounds like Toaster Ludwig, honestly. Yeah, probably. Damn. Oh, oh no, it's daytime. Wait, they, it didn't drop any experience. Is that legal? Monsters have to drop experience. No. Right, let's go over here. Um, there's something here we can kill, I think. It says there's a skeleton. Let's see. Over here. What? Where is it? Oh, it's dead already. Okay. You ever play Crazy Cra- I doubt it. Um, I do want to play Roblox Survivor with some friends, though. That was pretty fun. I think we play it with, like, uh, we should do, like, mostly friends and a few random people. Because I think uh, the random people really spice it up a lot. Which is probably, I probably shouldn't say that. But it's true, though, guys. Did you guys, I played it with Carl um, yesterday. And it was, like, super fun. With, uh, like, a few random people, but mostly people we knew. It was actually really fun. Um, I would want to play it again maybe with, like, 
same thing. A few of us, and then a few random people also. Um, I was so, sh and by so shocked, I mean not shocked at all that Carl threw me and Tina under the bus at the end. <laughs> um, but realistically, that's what you're supposed to do at the end of the show, aren't you? So, uh, <clears throat> Rare, thanks for the sub. Uh, this Amira is just getting brutalized. I, yeah, well, that's part of Minecraft, I think. Anyway, um, all right, what song is playing? Uh, it's just like a piano cover playlist or something. Nothing crazy. Okay, let's go stash our experience away. He pulled a sa Oh, wait, what? Guys, the spoilers. The spoilers, guys. Um, all right. I will say this, though, guys. The old man was just my favorite character. Like, by far, he was the chillest, coolest dude out there. Um, good old the old man, guys. All right. Spoilers. I don't think saying he's my favorite character is much of a spoiler. I, I think that's not a spoiler. Um, I didn't watch it. Okay, well, the only real spoil you got was there's a cool old man in the show. Which is, like, not a spoiler at all, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah. Wow, that did not move the experience up at all in this book. <laughs> um. Alright. For Squid Game, he's one of my cool char uh, one of my favorites. Yeah, he's pretty cool, I think. Oh, more fish. Okay. Oh, we have a weird number of fish. So I like having a full stack of fish, but I don't know. Alright. Um, when's it not a spoiler? I don't know. It's overhyped. I mean, I don't think it's overhyped. I just think it's, it's good and everybody likes it. And since everyone likes it, people assume that that means it's the best thing ever. When in actuality, it just means it's good enough where everyone likes it. That's really all it takes, to be honest. So, you know, it doesn't mean it's the best show ever. It just means it's a good show that everyone likes. This, I think this was the example I used, like, in the past. And I think it's a pretty decent one. You guys know the restaurant in and out Like, everyone who goes there, like, usually likes it. They hype it up a lot. They're like, yeah, it's a good burger, you know, all that stuff. Nobody says anything bad about it. And here's what happens when someone goes to, like, California, and I think there's some in Texas now. They go to In-N-Out, they eat the burger, and they're like, yeah, you know, it wasn't that good. Like, I mean, it was good, but it wasn't that good. And the, the problem is nobody ever said it was the best burger on the planet. They just said it's a pretty good burger, and everyone likes it. Which is pretty true, I think, because, you know, it's fresh and good and stuff. So it's not, like, overhyped in the sense that everyone said it's the best burger ever, and it isn't. It's that everyone says it's a good burger... And when you hear that everyone says it's good, you assume it's the best thing ever. Um, when it's actually just, you know, a good burger. <laughs> or something like that. Um, your best burger is... Uh, I think the best burger for me is the one Bimbus likes the most. You know, I'm not too picky. But, you know, Bimbus likes to sit around and eat food when I eat it. So, uh, if he likes it, then that's automatic plus in my book. But, anyway... Um, I think we need some more cooking material. Let's go ja uh, steal some kelp, because, um, the kelp is actually nuts, guys. That kelp, it grows like a 20 apiece. Um, all right. <clears throat> Lay, thanks for the five gift, and Lay. Um, all right. Anyway, uh, what was I talking about? I forgot. Oh, right, the kelp. It's OP, guys. It actually cooks more than coal, I'm pretty sure. Kind of crazy. Um. Oh, uh, Rogo. Thanks for the sub, Rogo. Okay. Is Bimbus picky? Um, sometimes, yeah. Probably depends on how hungry he is. A block of kelp is the best burning material? Yeah, I feel like even though the XP farm kind of sucks, the, uh, the kelp is, like, insane. It's, it has so much, uh, like, you almost never need to get coal again. All right. Gonna bring back the pumpkin pie farm. Probably not. I don't think we're gonna have any issues with food just because, um... Look, guys, l let me show you how easy it is to get food. See these fish? Now you don't. And how many fish did we just get from that one? Two fish, three fish, eight fish, one click of the mouse. So I, I feel like there's no point making fancy food 
because it's so easy to just zap the fish. Like, it's, it's a little too easy. You just zap the fish, you get all that food. Catherine, thanks for the sub. All right. But, yeah, that's how easy it is to get fish. So I feel like it's not worth it because it's just so easy to get fish. Watch this. I missed. Oh, wait. No, I got some of them. Um. Anyway, it's so easy to get fish. You just come back every once in a while and zap them. And you get, like, five fish, like, pretty fast. So... There you go. You just walk around. By the time you've gathered this fish, the staff is almost off cooldown. Unlimited charges. It's unlimited charges, but there is a decently long cooldown. But it's short enough where if you're just gathering fish like this... Look at that, guys. 20, 20 fish already. Crazy, I tell you. Um, whose server is this? Uh, I, Ron Mouse, I think, invited me. All right. It's water. How aren't you getting shocked? Well, guys, the same reason that this lightning rod somehow works inside of a, inside of a building. Normally, if you, if you zap inside of a building, it shouldn't go through the building. That doesn't make any sense. But for some reason, um, for some reason, it goes literally through the ground. I mean, I was using this lightning underground in a cave, guys. So it, it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It really doesn't. But, you know, it's, it's Minecraft. I mean... All right, let's go over here. I think there's a bunch of fish over here. Do you like eating water? You don't, don't you mean drinking water? But uh, the answer is probably, I guess, yeah, I drink water typically. I right, got all this. Got all this stuff. Okay. One shot, three kills. Yeah, it's something like that. That's why I feel like it's not even worth, like, I used to make bread at the farm. It feels like a waste of time now because you can get fish so much easier and fish are just as good. All you have to do is cook them. And with the kelp blocks, it's super easy to cook them. You just have to wait. See how much easier that is? Um, all right. Massacred the fish. I mean, they keep respawning, so why not? Okay. Now we just let the fish cook slowly. The three birds that got killed? Um, definitely more than three birds got killed, guys. Other games after? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, but what else can we play, guys? So Tony and Mr. Lang are playing this weird space game that I kind of wanted to try, but I don't think we'll be able to, because uh, I don't have the game installed. So we're probably not going to be able to play that one. Um, I don't know what else to play right now. Like, I guess we could hop on GTA for a morsel of time, but I don't really know. Um, oh, Lay, thanks for the five gifted, Lay. It's a whole bunch of gifted. GTA, I mean, guys, I'm, I'm just going to say it, and uh, this is sort of meta gamey, but if I'm completely honest with you, um, most of our friends are uh, going to EDC, right? And then Tony and Mr. Lang are not playing. They're playing, like, some kind of space Tarkov game, so. You know, they're, they're, obviously, uh, they're obviously busy, so I don't think they'll be... They'll be completely free or anything. So, uh, Lyinny, thanks for the sub, Lyinny. Media game. I'm not actually media game. I'm just saying they're busy, you know? So, uh, they're not going to be on GTA, and it's not quite as fun to play it when, you know, none of, uh, none of CB is on it. So, what's EDC? It's some kind of festival. I'm still kind of on the fence ish about going. I was thinking maybe I would just go once, like for one, one day, not the whole time. Um, yeah. New character to perma in one hour. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could do that, but I don't know if that's a good idea. All right. Um, let's see. GTA is kind of burnt out. I think GTA is really fun, um, with, with your friends and stuff. But I feel like it's it's definitely for me past the phase where I'll just log on for no reason and try and figure out what to do. Um, like, if none of our friends are on, it's, it's much tougher to, like, just make something up and try and figure it out. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's wait for our fish to finish cooking. Because we do have a good bit of that. Guys, how much XP? How much? We probably got a lot. Let's check our farm. Someone just drowned. Um... 
All right. Oh, um, hack. Thanks for the sub. All right, guys. This for sure has got to be almost ready. It's, uh, it's we're gonna get to at least like level two or three, maybe. One fourth. Well, guys, you got to remember that the lower levels require less experience. Watch this. We gained one whole level. <sighs> That's not a lot. It's not a lot. Um, it's barely any. Well, we have plenty of fuel. We just got to wait for it to cook. Chris, thanks for the sub. All right. You got to keep taking from it again. Really? Um, all right, we'll try it. I mean, I've only usually, so the way I was told it works is you take one and it gives you all the piled up XP. I don't know if you have to do it more. I guess it doesn't hurt to try more than once. That gave us nothing. I think we have to let it charge up. I'm pretty sure guys. I, I think we have to let it charge up. I don't think you can just keep taking from it. Um, Akumu, thanks for the sub, man. Fantasy. You gonna make the farm bigger at some point? Um, we could, but let's be honest, guys. The XP right now sucks. Even if we double it, it's still gonna suck. So, it's kind of weird, but I genuinely don't know if it's worth it to make it bigger. Um... Because it'll take a lot more effort, a lot more resources, and it's going to be twice of terrible XP. It's still terrible XP. Now, I think it's worth it because it's going to, you know, get experience when I'm offline. But obviously, it's super slow, guys. I mean, we let it charge almost all night, and we only gained, like, uh, a few levels. Uh, make a mob farm. We could. I just don't know how to is the problem. The kelp isn't bad. I heard cactus farms are actually better. Um, Shanna, thanks for the sub. Make the chest a single chest? How on earth would that help at all? Um, all right. Cactus farms are a lot of work. Yeah, I'm thinking we just leave this one. We gather a ton of kelp by hand because the farm sucks. And then... <laughs> Guys, how, how bad of an idea... Oh, oh wait, it's nighttime already. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they really lowered the drop rate of these. Uh, I guess we can keep rotten flesh now. They really drop lowered the drop rate of those tridents. I got one yesterday. Um, they're kind of OP, but. Okay. Need more hoppers and furnaces? I, I don't because. So right now I've been monitoring the output of the farm. The biggest bottleneck in the entire farm is um. What's it called? Is the kelp generation. It just doesn't generate enough kelp. So the cooking is fine. That's why when I first opened it up today, it wasn't cooking at all anymore because it ran out of kelp to cook. That's why I have to gather some by hand like this, which is kind of annoying, but you know, what are you gonna do? All right. Uh, Moon, thanks for the sub. All right, so usually, I'll go gather a little bit of kelp by hand, which is... It's kind of scuffed, but it works. Hollow, thanks for the sub. All right, let's just gather a little more kelp, and then we'll plug it in, and hopefully uh, I'll be... It'll charge up. I I'm really hoping to get to level 30 at some point, but... Do you know the farm that grows the kelp per second? I know if you spam bone meal on it, it'll work, but, uh, I mean, that's not really the most efficient way to do it, I'd say. Wanted a chicken farm? Do chicken farms even give experience? I made one a long time ago, but it wasn't really good for experience, if I remember. Okay. Uh, Palladium, thanks for the sub. Zero tick farm. I'm pretty sure that lags servers, so I don't want to make something something quite like that. Um, you get a haircut? Yep, my mom cut my hair yesterday. Okay. Um, what? If you do one cooking potatoes, it's better. Can you make an automatic potato farm? I think... Wait, didn't Michael make one? I, I think, as far as I knew, the only way to do it was you had to capture a villager that would replant it for you. Otherwise, there's no other way to, to replant it. Um, you can? I don't think you can do it on unless you have something special. Uh, Michael did it, yeah, but, but I think he had like the turtles or whatever, right? 
I don't think you can do it with... Yeah, it is some mod pack that uh, d doesn't exist here. So I don't think that's possible unless we can somehow capture that villager that like does all that weird stuff. So Yeah. You can do it in vanilla with... Guys, guys, I feel like people are leaving out some parts. I, I think you can do it in vanilla, but you need the villager to replant. And I don't have that, so... Oh, right, the mining quartz. I guess we can go try that. Yeah, let's go mine some... What if we die, guys? Nah, what could go wrong? Let's go mine some quartz. Actually, let's go deposit our measly four levels while we can. I don't even see it going up, guys. This is bad. <laughs> We're, like, barely getting any experience, but... Okay. Um, the Enderman farm. I know the Enderman farm is pretty much the best one, in my opinion, but... We don't have that yet. Um, I don't think anybody's anybody's made it quite that far. Tangy, thanks for the sub. Um, make a semi AFK one with a ton of bone meal. I don't. I guys, I I'm looking for something completely self sufficient. Because if I have to go farm for bone meal all the time, then like, you know, I may as well just go fight these skeletons, and I'll just get more experience anyway. Hey, there's one level already. Charge this up. Eh. There we go. Yeah, so this gains XP way faster, but... You know, what can you do, guys? Excuse me, sir. I'll just have to... Need some XP real quick. Um, what mod are you playing? I think it's called Better Minecraft, but... Uh, oh. Eh. Okay. Man, that lightning thing is nuts. All right. Let's go over here. We could get blaze rods, maybe. What the? Huh, lightning doesn't work on it. Does this give a lot of experience? Hmm. Seems really tough. Doesn't it split? What? What the? Uh, I thought it split into smaller ones. What is this? Wait, th there's no way this is fair. What? You're trolling me. Does that work? Is this rigged? Wait, why, why are they immune? Oh, it worked. I got it. I got one of them. Oh, wait, I got two bottles of enchanting. Oh, huh. Looks like regular attacks don't work, but you can use, you use special abilities or something. Kind of interesting. I've never seen that before. I thought slime split into smaller slimes. I'm going to be honest, I barely remember the way back. I'm kind of afraid to go around too much here. Because I think I'm going to die. They do in vanilla. Um, Yeah, that's what I thought too. But uh, I guess the mod pack really mixes it up, sort of. XP bottles? Yeah, those are going to be great. Actually, we already gained three levels. That was pretty good, I think. Um, okay, there's a bunch. <gasps> I just thought of something. Okay, the bones. We get these bones, use them in our kelp farm, right? It grows the kelp super fast. We don't have to farm it by hand as much anymore, right? Uh, I think bone meal works on kelp. We turn this into bones. We get a bunch of bone meal. We spam it on the kelp, and then we don't have to farm it by hand anymore. That's a good idea. And, I mean, these bones are just chilling here, so... All right, we could get more of this, too, actually. But we're not going to. We're just going to go kill this thing. Um... Eh. There we go. Man, that combo is crazy, guys. It's pretty much one attack, and then one slice, and then another one, and you're done. Um... There's a whole thing you can build to automate it. What, the bone meal? Ow. Jesus, it's such a good combo, guys. Such a good combo. Just gonna say I invented that? Just saying? I'm just kidding. I, I probably didn't, but... Try mining quartz. That's what we're trying to do, but I actually... I think the mod pack made it more rare or something like that, because I haven't found any. Um, maybe it's just more... More rare or something. Oh, I don't know if we're going to reach that. But honestly, this is a lot of bones. You guys see any quartz around here? 
I'm pretty sure I'm lost, actually. Um, you guys remember the way back? Because I'm getting kind of nervous. And, um... Bow... Oh, I think it's that way, right? I remember seeing that weird wall. Any gun mods? Let's search. Gun. Well, there's gunpowder. Gunpowder block. I think that's it. No... No gun guns. Hmm. Oh, I could have walked in there on accident. Let's see. Yeah, guys, I don't really know where... I don't know where the quartz went. It used to be pretty common, I thought. What? Uh, the tips. Thanks for the 10 gifted. It's a whole bunch of gifted. Thanks a bunch. Tips for the, for the 10 gifted. Really appreciate that. Thanks a bunch. Tip. All right. Nothing here. <clears throat> yeah, guys, I am... I'm not seeing very much. Uh, hmm. I think we just go back. We gained four levels. I can't believe it. Well, let's use up our bottle zone enchanting. That's level six there. Maybe we'll find... There's more bones over there. It's in a different biome. Wait, really? Nether quartz doesn't spawn in this biome then. Oh, there's, uh, there's more bones. You know, I may as well get the bones. I, I think it's a good plan. We can spam it on the kelp. Um, so it kind of works. Find more diamonds. No, there's no point right now. I really want, we really need to get the fortune pickaxe before we look for more diamonds. I think. Um, well, the ender chest would be good too if we get the, if we get the, what's it called? What? You can shoot through that? Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, that was a little cheap, but I'm not going to risk my life if I don't have to. Um, all right, Stum, thanks for the sub. Or Stumble. You know what I saw people playing the other day, guys? Like It's like a Fall Guys knockoff called like Stumble Guys or something. <laughs> um, all right. And it actually looked like not that bad, honestly, but... Is this RL craft? Nope, it's just, uh... Man, who made this? This is so fancy looking. Who does this And then What the? You guys looking at this? What is this? Wait, nether mine shaft? Is this... Did someone make this, or... Um... I doubt someone made this, but I've never seen it before. I feel like I'm gonna get killed in here, if I'm honest. Now, oh, what could possibly go wrong? You know, I think I go home. Oh, up here, maybe. Hmm? Hmm. Oh, there's a, there's a... Hmm? I found rope, beet root seeds, cobblestone. Man, that was disappointing. Um, I thought I found something rare for a minute. Wait a minute, do I know the way back? Nah, that's probably fine. Solo server? Nope, there's people. Uh, but I think they're all in the main place. I'm probably the only person in the, the nether right now. I'm just trying to gather some uh, some experience points right now. But I think we go home, guys. I don't want to die. This is the only lightning rod I have left. And I don't want to lose it, so. Did we go that way? I think we came from the this thing. Um, Saza, I'm sorry. Thanks for the subs. Yeah, not seeing too much. I say we just go. Hmm. Okay. Not seeing too much. Let's go up this way. Okay. Huh. Where is everything? Am, am I going the right way? Wait. Oh, that definitely does not look like the right way. Maybe we go this way. Um, Kylan, thanks for the sub. Jaybird, thanks for the sub also. GTA, I mean, we would, guys, but we don't have any plans. Like, we go on GTA and then, like, there aren't many goals right now. And most of our friends are offline, I think. Are we trapped? We might be. Um. Here? Nope. Um. Okay, okay. I definitely remember seeing this. Uh, maybe it's through here? No, that doesn't look right. It couldn't have been there. 
I, I feel like we came from here, but I just don't remember. Is it? Huh? I feel like we came from here. I just don't know. In this? Nope. Is it up? It's got to be up here. I think. Oh, wait. I'm looking at the map. It's definitely up here. There it is. All right, I think we're out.